This is a Lego brick, and this is a giant Lego brick made out of candy. For the next 100 hours, I'll be challenging myself to make massive Lego candy bricks made from a handful of simple ingredients. These are gonna be the world's biggest edible Lego bricks, made entirely out of candy. If that excites you, please don't forget to like this video. Thanks. Uh, all right. Uh -oh. Not coming off. Can you get me a thing? Oh, what? I don't know. Did you hear something? I thought I heard something liquid. Alright, get me the knife and the hammer. Previously, I made a whole army of tiny and giant Lego candy minifigures. I even made a couple tiny Lego bricks. It took me a really long time to make that video, and apparently I burnt the chocolate. I didn't even know that was a thing. This is part two to the Lego cooking extravaganza. I'm gonna make giant Lego candy bricks. While I'm cooking up some delectable Lego delicacies, keep an eye out for these slightly toasted Lego bricks that are hidden somewhere throughout this video. First things first, I need a mold. So I sat down and started searching the web. <coughs> There's literally only one option on Amazon. These cake molds. They're not silicone. These pans are made of sturdier stuff. Some kind of oven safe metal. My concern is that these cakes aren't looking even. The imperfections definitely add character. I'm looking forward to getting my slimy hands on these long awaited Lego molds. Speaking of which, they're here right now. These giant Lego brick molds are supposed to be huge. I'm surprised they fit into this tiny of a box. I might have miscalculated something. My plan for today is to make the world's tastiest Lego candy bricks, and I want them to be stackable. That's important. I'm gonna make several different kinds. A gummy brick, a cake brick, and a chocolate Lego brick. And I'll see what else I have time for. I'm gonna start off with my gummy brick. Earlier I waddled over to Walmart. I know I need jello. I don't know how much I'll need though. I'm not the best at math, so I just blindly picked up a couple and threw them into the car. I'm just gonna figure that out later. I'm not just making jello, that's too flimsy. It would fall apart. I want these to be Lego gummies, so that they're a little more sturdy and hold their shape better. Do you think we'll need more chocolate? It's more like you know. What's that song? I don't even know. I gotta use my muscles to really mix this in. Luckily, I have my whisk. I no longer use forks to mix. I've evolved. I feel like a real chef. Mm. I actually still use forks to mix off camera, but on camera I use a whisk so I don't get bullied in the comments. It's all a facade. <laughs> this would go a lot faster with a fork. Looks like brains. God, it smells terrible. <laughs> uh oh. I set the stove to low because I don't want to heat things up too quick. Slow and steady wins the race. Wouldn't want my gummies to burn. For now, I want a nice, clear Lego brick. Unfortunately, that's not going to be easy to achieve. Even in my last Lego candy video, if you pay close attention, you can see the whole backside of my giant Lego minifigure was very cloudy and contaminated. It's a blink and you'll miss it kind of thing. Every time I make these gummies, there's always some white chunks contaminating my concoction. To avoid that, what I've been doing is pouring this mixture into a large glass, letting it sit for 10 minutes, and then spooning off the white chunks. Sounds easy enough. The only thing is, this is a lot more jello than I've ever made before, so I decided to change of plans. I'm just gonna pour all the jello straight into the mold and hope for the best. I'm hoping the contaminants rise to the top like they did for the giant minifigure, and then I can scoop them off then. Worst case scenario, it ends up not being a perfectly nice crystal clear Lego brick. I'm gonna let this rest and set, probably for the rest of the day. 12 o'clock midnight. <laughs> all right. Uh-oh. Not coming off. Can you get me a thing? Of what? I don't know. Did you hear something? I thought I heard something liquid. Alright, get me the knife and the hammer. There we go. Give me my tummy. I was feeling very celebratory, so I'm baking myself a cake and eating it too. Usually we make breads and cakes from scratch, but for today, for the sake of getting this video done on time, I'm gonna make a boxed cake. I'm whipping up one real quick. Some water, some oil, some eggs. That should do it. How much of this do you think I should add? Maybe not too much. Is it just me or is this cake batter like kind of thick? 
I want it to be more blue. Yeah, it blue. barely looks blue at all. I wonder how it's gonna be when it, is when it, it gonna cooks. turn darker when it cooks? I don't know I don't how know. cake works. I don't know, very curious. Yeah, I feel like no matter how much food coloring I add, it's just kind of staying the same color. <laughs> And my cheap whisk is breaking now. Oh, is it breaking? Oh. This is why I don't use a whisk. I don't like whisks. Yeah. Yeah, whisks I can't are. I not say whisks. Uh, whisks are a waste of money. Save your money and buy a spoon. Use a spoon like a real man. I don't know. I feel like this cake batter is like. I don't know. It's like slime. I've made plenty of cakes before, and I feel like this is not the right consistency. So I think you have to like really mix it. Yeah, I think it is. <laughs> Like two minutes straight. Yeah. Who needs a blender? All right. I'd say that was two minutes. Ooh. I feel like it's so thick. It's like not even gonna. Oh yeah. It's like not even gonna go into the Lego. Oh my god. It looks kind of like toxic. You know those right. like people who like mix poison into their partner's drinks or coffee or whatever, and then they end up in jail. That's kind of the color it looks like. How would you know? Something wrong here. What was that? Later that same evening. Huh? You know what it kind of reminds me of? Remember when people used to make that like cloud cake or whatever it was called? Oh, yeah. Right? Yeah, it looks like that, but not for long. Oh, oh it's hot. Oh my god. Oh, oh, oh. So good and tasty. Nothing like a steaming blue Lego cake. Oh no. Hot water with the cake. What? Oh, you're right. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Look, it's all it's all stuck in the holes. That sucks. Make sure you subscribe. The inside is really pretty. It looks like that cloud bread. Yeah. Like that's what yes, it looks sir. like. Today we're making cloud bread. <laughs> I cannot bear to look at this tragedy anymore, so I'm just gonna pretend it never happened. Moving on, I gotta get started working on my chocolate Lego brick. Chocolate is delicious and all, but it's very tricky to cook. You have to temper it, and to be honest, I don't really know what that means. Chocolate is notoriously difficult to melt successfully. If you get even one contaminator in the chocolate, it can seize and turn into a giant clumpy mess. That's true, I got that off Google. Wow. Last time someone suggested adding oil into the chocolate to help achieve buttery smooth consistency. They even had a fervent supporter backing them up. So to keep all two of you happy i'll add a couple spoonfuls of oil sure why not oh yeah that looks good that looks really good mm. that's good wow that really worked yeah <sighs> smell something burning <laughs> i feel like that chocolate guy what chocolate guy what, what's his name i forget the guy who smiles oh the chef guy the chef guy the chocolatier yeah i don't know his name <laughs> As I'm filling up this mold, I'm realizing that I didn't get nearly enough chocolate for this brick. It's gonna need quite a bit more, so I'll be making a quick trip to my neighborhood Target. That's when I had a stroke of genius. Hear me out. If the whole Lego brick is a solid ton of chocolate, that's gonna be hard to eat and probably not so enjoyable. What if I were to fill the inside with wafers or maybe cake? In theory, then I should be able to chew this giant Lego candy brick a bit easier. It's kinda like making a giant Kit Kat. Reduce, reuse, recycle. That's my style. I actually think this might taste pretty good paired with the chocolate. I'm gonna melt some more chocolate and then top off my chocolate brick with that finishing touch. Looks really good. I do think it looks pretty. Tomorrow. It's actually pretty good. I'll save that for later. 